Oxygen OS 14 stable rollout just began a few days ago and uh, I have received the software update on my uh, OnePlus 11 and uh, some of the coolest features and best settings that I have discovered that you may not know about but if you have a OnePlus device and your device is eligible for the Oxygen OS 14 software then these are the 10 best settings and features that you need to know about the latest software update. Hello everyone, I'm Ani of Fiber by India Today and before we get on with the rest of the video, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. Spotlight aka Global Search that we have come to see and like on iPhone uh, for years now. This is a very simple feature yet probably the best feature that I find on iOS has just not been around on Android for years now. I mean, yes, since Oxygen OS 13, the global search option has been there where you can toggle it on by going to settings, the home settings, and then you can set the drop down gesture for the global search. You see the small search button right here on the home page, you tap it and uh, voila, you're in the global search. A simple intuitive feature yet a long time coming. Okay, the next feature is a file dock, which is an extension of the smart uh, sidebar feature that we first saw in Oxygen OS 13. So with this latest feature in Oxygen OS 14, with this uh, file dock feature, you can use it as a clipboard to save any text, image, link and file uh, to the file dock. Simply uh, drag and uh, drop it to the file dock and use as you may. And I'm sure you must have just noticed that how I was able to long press on my image and I was able to take a smart cutout. Well, this feature we have already seen on iPhones for over a year now, but uh, thankfully the feature is now available on Oxygen OS 14 on OnePlus devices. And I'm sure uh, this is not an original feature, but again, is a welcome addition. Okay, one more feature around the images is the new Auto Pixelate 2.0 feature. So with this feature, as the name suggests, you will be able to hide sensitive information in a photo or a screenshot that you have taken once you hit uh, the edit button. So for instance, I will just take a screenshot from my WhatsApp chat and as you can see, I hit edit and there's this auto pixelate option and 95% uh, of the time this feature works like a charm. It automatically hides all the sensitive information and 5% of the time, even when the feature does not work, you can always, you know, do it manually by hitting the sensitive areas and it will auto pixelate on its own. Since the iPhone 14 Pro launched, the dynamic island has been a boon for uh, the right reasons or wrong reasons and uh, many Android makers actually have tried to implement the, this feature on their smartphones and none of them have, you know, succeeded. But by far, uh, the best implementation that I've seen of the dynamic island on Android is uh, this one that we see in Oxygen OS 14. So of course, there's no exact way to trigger it, but say you have a Swiggy order or you have a device connected to your phone's hotspot or say you have turned on a timer. Well, this pill is visible right up top and of course you can interact with it by long pressing on it. Okay, there's a new AOD screen in Oxygen OS 14 which encourages you to walk and uh, in turn it reduces the carbon uh, footprint. So how does this feature work? Well, this always on display theme actively monitors your daily step count and it showcases the corresponding reduction in carbon emissions. Okay, lock screen shortcuts is a feature that should have definitely made the cut in Oxygen OS 13, but uh, I'm grateful that it is finally available in Oxygen OS 14. So as the name suggests, in the latest software, you can now add a bunch of lock screen shortcuts apart from the Google Assistant. So I have uh, set mine uh, to torch, but you can also choose between in Snapchat or uh, you can uh, set it to QR code and of course you can also set it to none. Okay, one thing that has been an annoyance for me on old Oxygen OS versions is the fact uh, that some apps maxed out at 60 hertz, especially on a phone such as the OnePlus 11, which is a flagship phone and has 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, uh, the good thing is in the refresh rate settings in Oxygen OS 14, you can basically dial up any app's refresh rate to 120 hertz. So apps which do not support 120 hertz in Oxygen OS 13 can now be forced to work in 120 hertz mode in Oxygen OS 14. Now one other app based setting which is not exactly an Oxygen OS feature but a core Android 14 feature is the ability to set different languages for separate apps. For instance my phone's language is set to English but say I want a particular app to run in French. I can do so now. 
Of course, not all apps support this feature as of now, but a bunch of Google apps and some third party ones do support it. Finally, the 10th thing on the list is uh, the ability to now have all your security and privacy features in a unified place in Oxygen OS 14. So, all the features that you see scattered in the phone's settings. Under security and privacy now, you can access your devices, lock settings, Google account settings, phone system updates, along with having private safe app locker, system cloner, and the likes. Additionally, the security and privacy tab also identifies potential security risks such as outdated apps, malware infections, and uh, phishing attempts. And these were the 10 best things about Oxygen OS 14, 10 best features or 10 best settings, whatever you may like to call it. But uh, let me know in the comments whether you have tried the latest Oxygen OS 14 software. Has your device uh, received the update and have you tried it for yourself? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. And uh, did I miss any feature? You can also let me know that in the comments as well. I will meet you all in the next video very soon. Till then, take care of yourself and uh, thank you for watching.